drivers are not specifically different from anywhere else in the world. Uh, uh, the, the cities in particular today are facing significant challenges and the Middle East is no exception to that. Uh, when looking at urbanization, uh, uh, growth, congestion, pollution and also uh, some significant change in the way operators and transport authorities uh, are managing their investment and their projects and also aspirations of course and expectations from the passengers. So the biggest challenges uh, are about uh, the phenomena of uh, major urbanization and also meet the growing concern about uh, having a, gr a green environment. So to uh, answer those uh, constraints and also to meet the expectations and the aspirations of, of the passengers, uh, uh, we see ourselves today not only as a train manufacturer and as a supplier of signaling and uh, railway equipment, but we see ourselves more uh, as becoming a mobility maker, which means we have to offer ways for the operator to operate their network more efficiently, uh, with better performance, uh, at a lower cost of ownership. And on the other hand, also we have to satisfy new passenger expectations that uh, uh, want to maximize the usage they do of their travel. Uh, they want to enjoy travel, they want to remain connected, uh, uh, and they want to enjoy a passenger experience uh, that is comparable to other individual modes of transport. And, and even like this, of course, is, is important for us as a global player in this region. We have been in this region for years. Uh, we are delivering a number of projects in the UAE, uh, in Saudi Arabia, for example. So it's important that we share uh, with our customers, with our other colleagues from the industry, the new solutions that we are proposing to uh, meet those challenges, uh, to support the operators, to bring new solutions, and to provide, uh, again, better mobility uh, for the people living in the Middle East cities.